Hi, I'm MJ. Welcome to the Blogs for Borders video blog burst, April 3rd, 2007. And thanks for joining us as we take a whirlwind tour of illegal immigration news across these United States. Last Friday, two illegal aliens were senselessly killed and a third seriously injured near Green Valley, Arizona. A Border Patrol agent with an itchy trigger finger? Wrong. Perhaps a Minuteman vigilante who hates brown people? Uh-uh. Try more illegal aliens. Ones who cross the border to do a job that you and I aren't willing to do. Hijack a drug load. Three families snuck across the border near Sassabee, where they were picked up by human smugglers. They crammed all 23 into the back of a pickup truck with a camper shell and headed north. Frankly, it's amazing that only two of them were killed when the drug smugglers, thinking the truck was filled with drugs, not people, showered the truck with bullets from the front and both sides. And if you think that we're done telling you about all the different groups of illegal aliens who made it across the border in this story, think again from the Tucson citizen. While deputies tried to make sense out of the chaotic scene several miles west of Green Valley, several other groups of illegal immigrants unrelated to those ambushed came onto the scene. Who's on first? 23 illegal aliens. What's on second? Illegal alien smugglers, human and drugs. Which means, of course, that I don't know how many more illegal aliens are on third. What I do know is that if there are this many illegals making their way through this one little story, there isn't nearly enough coverage at home. The victim, Aniceto Armendariz. The criminal, Antonio Pelias Vasquez, 56, illegal alien. The crime, first degree felony murder. The story. Armendariz was driving down the interstate with his wife, Alma, when he was shot in the head. The couple had just left Mass at a Park City church where Armendariz was a deacon. Scumbag Pelias Vasquez and his son, who has received six years to life but denies being the shooter, were quickly apprehended after their van crashed. The motive? Wasatch County Attorney Thomas Lowe speculates that the success and social status of Armendariz a legal permanent resident from Mexico, was more than dirtbag Pelias Vasquez could handle. He pleaded guilty to the first-degree felony murder charge this week. And if our government had been doing its job, this jerk wouldn't have been here, making this crime 100% preventable. The victim, Andrew Steer, 21, a college kid in Florida for spring break. The accused, Hugo L. Rodriguez Calindras, 28, illegal alien from Honduras. The crime. Leaving the scene of an accident with death, grand theft auto, and pending test results intoxication. The story. Steer was in Florida enjoying spring break when scumbag Rodriguez Calindras mowed him down with a stolen van. As Steer lay dying, the dirtbag attempted to run away from the scene like the coward he is he will most likely be deported, which means that in short order, he will cross our all but undefended border, again, and be right back in this country, again, ready to kill, again. Of course, if our government had been doing its job, this jerk wouldn't have been here, making this crime, like every one of Rodriguez Calindras' future crimes, 100% preventable. The Victims Maria Ortiz, Vanessa Ortiz, and Vanessa's unborn son. The accused, Ignacio Gomez Gutierrez, an illegal alien from Mexico. The charges, two counts of intoxicated manslaughter and failure to render aid. The story, Maria and Vanessa were on their way to visit grandma when drunk scumbag Gutierrez slammed into their car, killing mother, daughter, and unborn son. Police captured this coward on foot after he ran away from the scene. But it gets worse. Gutierrez has three prior DWI convictions in the past four years, including a reduction from felony to misdemeanor on number three. 
but this dirtbag was never deported. So instead of a Sunday afternoon visit, one grandmother had a Thursday afternoon funeral for her daughter, granddaughter, and unborn great-grandson. But if our government had been doing its job, this jerk wouldn't have been here, which makes this crime, like all crimes committed by illegal aliens, 100% preventable. California activist Minute Mom Christy attended and taped Enrique Morones' pro-Mexico rally after the Latino school walkouts last Friday. The walkouts were allegedly to support the creation of a national Cesar Chavez holiday. Do you think they have a clue that Cesar Chavez, like anyone who actually supports the rights of legal workers in this country, was against illegal immigration? Your challenge as you watch this segment of video? Put on your detective cap and see if you can figure out in which country it was shot. While taping, Christie was relentlessly harassed by those brave protectors of truth, the communists, while the police responded weakly and ineffectively at best. During this next segment, ask yourself this. If they're so proud of their message, why go to such lengths to keep Christie from recording it for posterity? Racist, go home! Racist, go home! Racist, go home! Racist, go home! All right, look, I've already asked you to back off. I've already talked to six different officers. Would you like me to go grab them again? On camera, following me everywhere. That's a form of harassment. Country, I don't care if they don't like me, but the yeah. You know that you're that so scared that you use shake on that your cheek. You gotta use. Is that right? Racist, go home. 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 Excuse me. Racist, go home. We think it's important to note that Enrique Morones has dual citizenship in Mexico and the U.S., and that he has been on the Mexican government's payroll. Is this someone who should be involved in any way with our policies with Mexico? Can you say conflict of interest? Thanks to you, Christy, for your willingness to wade into and document these third world demonstrations in order to bring Americans the news the news ignores. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of the Blogs for Borders video blog burst. I'm closing it out with this from Teddy Roosevelt. Enrique Morones, this quote's for you. We can have no 50-50 allegiance in this country. Either a man is an American and nothing else, or he is not an American at all.